The new building is really great for the students because it has we have lots of different little nooks and crannies, different learning areas, so they can choose um, what suits them and their learning style. The idea and the concept behind the playground is to have inclusivity for all. It doesn't matter if the students are in the disability unit or the mainstream, um, it's about all of the kids having activities at their level. But when students use the playground, they then re-enter classroom a lot calmer. Uh, the learning also happens outside, but students with disability go back into the classroom less anxious um, and ready to learn. We allow them to have the choice of um, whether they want to work at a desk or on the floor or in the couch, in the library area. And we do a lot of explicit teaching about choosing a strong place to work, choosing strong people to work with, what's good for their learning. In terms of the sensory room, it's, that's been a really lovely space, it's a really dark space and it's been really lovely for children who are overstimulated and they can go and sit in a really nice, quiet, dark space and it helps them to, to calm down. It has affected us in a really positive way because we're able to work with each other alongside other teachers, so um, get more ideas and I guess also we've been able to cater more specifically to our students because the space is bigger and there is more adults in the room. Um, we can set up different learning stations throughout the two rooms um, so and our children just move freely between them. When we have integrated learning time together with the mainstream classes the kids all play together and if you're a stranger walking to that room you wouldn't be able to pick out which children were the children with disabilities. They are just all playing together all as one. It's um, yeah really lovely inclusive learning.